So are you ready with your Bible the Easter College Quillo? What's happening in the world? Let's look at the Bible. Good afternoon, everybody. I pray you're having a very blessed afternoon, the Lord. Jesus loves you. Let's have a little coffee here in the afternoon. Salud. Mm. I hope you're ready. We have something very important to talk about. It is happening right now. We need to keep this in prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you. We praise you. We adore you. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you direct everything I say. Let it be for your glory. Let it be for your honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Here we go. Amen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is big. As you know, many of you have heard, Americans left behind in Afghanistan. Let's scroll back right down here. The chaotic nature of the U.S. exit from the Afghanistan has shocked Americans, allies, allies and Americans too, including numerous U.S. citizens who are now trapped inside of Taliban-controlled territory. Some American journalists, contractors, and aid workers in the country may have made the mistake of believing President Biden's July assurances and are now desperately seeking a way out. Now, this Washington Post columnist Josh Rogan writes, as the, citizens, as the situation in, on the ground of Afghanistan's capital continues to t- deteriorate thousands, now they believe that 10 to 15,000 Americans are stuck. Some would say they were kept <laughs> hostage, but, but they're there. They're stuck. Okay, let's go hear some news from MS. This is CNBC. Let's hear. Country immediately, any way you can. The warning comes as the Taliban is quickly seizing control of major cities and as U.S. forces finalize their withdrawal from the country. So far, the militant group has taken at least five provincial capitals since Friday, and it dealt a major blow to government forces today when a prominent pro-government commander switched sides Mm. and handed over... It is a mess. Now, that was a week ago, and after that, they have taken over, and the the majority of Americans, about 10 to 15,000, are still stuck there. Let's listen some more still at risk in Afghanistan right now. Yeah, Aaron, I mean, that quote's really interesting because I got a quote from someone else who said that the feeling was that now the U.S. government is complicit in all of the atrocities and the behavior of the Taliban and others in that parameter. So, I mean, the Afghans who are working for our embassy are right. I mean, it's almost more dangerous for them to leave whatever safe area they're in. But, of course, that safe area is temporary. So... So they're stuck, ladies and gentlemen. We need to pray for them. My wife and I were praying for them. These are Americans stuck in Afghanistan. And Biden said they were going to leave, but they got to leave by August 31st. Keep that date in mind. Listen to this. Will U.S. troops stay until everyone is out, or will they leave? So I'm not going to comment on hypotheticals. What I'm going to do is stay focused on the task which is getting as is many people out as rapidly as possible. And we will take that day by day. Americans are being left behind. That question was asked not once but twice, and the administration would not commit to that. Underscoring what Shannon said a little bit further, Sarah Cook from CBS News has a note that went out from the State Department to U.S. citizens in Afghanistan. It says exactly what Shannon said, but to read it in full, it says to American citizens, thank you for registering your request to be evacuated from Afghanistan. The U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan has confirmed that an undefined number of U.S. government-provided flights will begin soon. Please make your way to Hamid Karzai International Airport at this time. And then in bold and in caps, Listen. Please be advised that the United States government cannot guarantee your security to make this trip. That's they ridiculous. have been left behind. The administration will not tell us if they will stay beyond August 31st to ensure the safe evacuation of Americans. By the way, how many Americans are there? Because yesterday morning, Kirby told us it was 5,000 5, to 10,000. Saki then tells us it's 11,000. Then Pentagon officials are backgrounding to reporters. It is 10 to 15,000. They don't even know how many Americans. They don't know how many Americans are there, ladies and gentlemen. But whoever, whatever they are, they need to be taken out, brought home in the name of the Lord. Let me read you here, Proverbs 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. People are mourning. People are upset. Please pray for the people there in Afghanistan. Live for Jesus and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. 